Okay guys, so today I'm doing the wet look um, on my natural hair. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I have a mixture of 4B and 4C, so I am type 4 hair, so we just going to have to see, right? So one thing I did notice when looking at these videos is that they all, like they don't all use the same product, so that's good. Uh, but one thing I did notice is that most of them use a Denman brush which I tossed mine out like a while ago because it was like breaking down and I just never went to the store to buy a new one. So I'm going to be using my old trusty uh, paddle brush um, here. You guys see this a lot when I do my wash day. So I'm just going to use this and just see how it turns out. So I will just kind of walk you guys through the products as I go along um, of what I'm using. So you know, I rinse my hair out like I said. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, whoop, get started. And I had this bag on um, just to kind of keep my hair wet because you want your hair to be wet um, during this process. So I have my water bottle just in case, you know. So I'm gonna section my hair first. I'm not gonna do the typical four sections. I am going to do the I'm just going to do like three sections um, to my hair, which is kind of hard to see because I'm trying to look in the uh, viewfinder here, but I'm going to do the middle part. Now the reason I'm not doing the middle part is, uh, well the four sections is because I don't want this like middle part in the back of my head. So that's why I'm just going to try to do it in one um, like section. I do got a hangnail. So for my leave-in I'm using the Texture ID uh, Conditioner. And this is a leave-in or rinse out conditioner. Um, so I'm just going to use this. So it's a little thicker with a little moisture. Because the whole point of the wet look is to like weigh down your curls. I guess so when they dry they look wet. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to see y'all. What the heck? I'm going to use a pretty generous. Generous. I'm using a pretty generous amount. Uh, I don't know what's up with your phone, baby. Mm. Nah, nigga. Yo, that's a boost or something else, shit. That's your phone, man. That's your phone, baby. Okay. For the gel of my choice, I am using the Wetline Extreme Gel, just because it gives my hair so much definition and shine. Um, I feel like this works very good on my hair, so I'm gonna use this for this look. You want to use a lot of gel. Like, that's the whole point of it, a lot of gel.
I literally have no idea how I look on the back, but hopefully it looks good. Um, it's different. <laughs> um, it's not bad. I think it looks okay right now, wet, but my hair shrinks like that and it shrinks, shrinks. So I guess I need to move a little faster. So I'm gonna use this mousse by Lot of Body um, here with the milk and honey. So. My hands are like super slippery y'all. So keep using my towel. I'm gonna use this edge control by Eben. E-B-I-N, this is my first time using it, but I heard it was uh, really good. So I'm gonna use this. I heard if you apply a little bit up here to help with any frizz. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, now I'm gonna say, girl, I'm throwing it back, okay? I'm gonna use this oil sheen. I don't know. I ain't seen nobody use oil sheen, but they use some type of hairspray for shine, baby. Oil spring, I mean oil, oil sheen will get you right for your shine. Maybe throw back. Okay. All right. So now it's time for edges. So let me bring y'all closer. Now, <clears throat> if you have fairly long hair, then it's not going to be an issue for you. But my hair, since it shrinks so much, I'm um, going to like wrap it around. I don't know. Somehow try to keep the shrinkage down. So I'm gonna let this sit for about two hours just to see how dry, dry it gets. My hair doesn't take long to dry, but I did use like a lot of gel, so I really don't know <clears throat> how long it's gonna take to dry, but I'll be up all night, so I'm gonna go watch some TV, um, find me a good movie or a show to watch, um, and let this dry, and then I'm gonna come back to you guys in two hours to give you guys an update, um, and then I'm going to go to bed and then in the morning see what it looks like because i want you guys to get the whole view like when my hair is completely dry and all that stuff so i'm hoping in two hours that it'd be fairly dry enough for me to say it's dry enough um but if not then i'll see you guys in the morning as well 
to let you know how it turned out. So, let me go watch my show. I'll be back to you guys in a little bit. Guys, so it is 1.15 in the morning. And my hair is definitely not dry. I can feel it, like through the scarf, it's, it's not dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face and go to bed because I'm tired. And in the morning, I will check in with you guys. Um, hopefully it's a lot more drier than, um, I had to readjust my scarf because it was slipping. So I just retied it on. So that's how I definitely know it's not like nowhere near dry right now. So yeah, so I just see you guys in the morning um, with the update at the eye. I'll get myself together so good night <laughs> okay guys so it is first thing in the morning so I just want to see what it's looking like first before I like do my makeup and all that stuff because you know I might have to rinse it out start over like I don't know so hopefully it worked good enough but my hair Still feels really wet, so I probably didn't need that much gel. But they say you're supposed to use a lot of gel, so we'll see. My little scarf ended up coming off, <clears throat> so my hair is so shrunken. So my hair is super clumped together. Um, not really individual, but let me. Let's see if I can separate the curls without causing like frizz. I don't know, my hair always clumps together like this, especially when I brush it. So maybe I shouldn't brush it as much. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, put my makeup on, you know, you know, get myself together, and then I'll be back Um, to you guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I didn't, you know, got myself together, put on a little makeup, you know. So, actually, okay, I don't know if you guys heard me this morning, because <laughs> I was, like, still fairly tired. But my hair clumps up. Now, what I did notice with the wet look is best to try to do it in the daytime and let it kind of like air dry because my hair is getting really dry. I don't know if it's because I had it wrapped up with the um, scarf around it to try to elongate it. I don't know if maybe that's what did it, but my hair was not drying. Like it was super wet. As you can tell earlier, I really didn't have to do anything but separate like it was still so wet. But now it feels um like it's drying so that's a bonus because i know my hair dries pretty fast but yeah it's starting to dry and i am liking the curls i think the curls are really cute this is like basically a wash and go if you haven't 
notice uh, it's pretty much a wash and go um <clears throat> but you just want to keep your curls defined with no fridge frizz yeah so basically this look is just doing your hair with no frizz my hair type 4 bc is gonna be frizzy like my hair just gets frizzy but this it looks it, it's manageable like i like it i think it's look really cute um you know my edges look i right. you know i feel like i could have done a little better but they look all right but yeah so my tips for you for doing the wet look one do it on wet hair two um you know try to do it in the daytime just so it dries at night three um uh, well you know i really i didn't use a dimming brush and i used this um paddle brush they're pretty close together but it's not a dimming brush but it worked just as fine so i wouldn't go all out like if you just don't have the money for a dimming brush or don't have a dimming brush and you have something similar to like a petal brush or something like that that's kind of you know compact i don't know um then you probably will be fine using what you have um so I'm trying to think anything else for real but overall i think it's cute i'm a I'm gonna put on my earrings because I feel like this look just needs earrings. I don't know because your hair pushed back. But I think I am going to um, put some mousse on it. So it has been like about four hours and my hair is completely dry. I feel like my hair is okay. It's a different style for me. Not really. I do wash and goes, but as far as this front part and stuff, it's a little different. But you know what? I kind of like it. It's growing on me. I think it's kind of cute. Um, my hair looks uh, really defined. I don't know. I think if your hair was... Um, well, my hair shrinks a lot, but if your hair was like longer, I don't know, it probably would look a lot different if you had different hair texture or whatever. But type 4 hair is a toss up. All naturals know that type 4 hair, you don't know if the style gonna work or not, depending on your curl pattern if you're type 4. Um, but I'm a mixture, and I think it came out okay. I think it came out pretty good. It's not frizzy. Uh, I don't necessarily know if it looks wet um in my opinion but it does look like a very defined wash and go so i will take it i love my wash and go so i would totally take um the fact that it looks so defined i don't know you guys comment down below if you think um you know if it looks wet it got a sheen to it but you know of course i spray some of this honey throw back okay some oil sheen okay um but i spray some of that on there and I feel like you got like a nice shine to it. So um, I feel overall this look can be a really good summer look for me. I think I like it. But of course, yeah. You know, I love me some wash and goes anyway. So that's pretty much what it is. As I stated like a thousand times already. It's like a defined, more defined wash and go. So, so yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and comment down below. Give the video a big thumbs up and share it. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.